Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Nutcase Casey Nicole and I'm back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network. Thank y'all so much for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. Shout out to you, okay? I appreciate all of you guys' love and support. And I thank all of you who've gone to also follow my Instagram and any other social media pages I have. Thank you. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I hope your weekend has been good, okay? Let's see what's going on with you guys this week. Okay, guardian angels. Ooh. What? Oh, we making a beat? I don't know what the heck that was, but y'all know I'm corny. Okay. I hope y'all had a great uh, Hallow's Eve, okay? Hope you enjoyed yourself. I was a witch this year. Maybe if some of you guys are following me on social media, you saw that. Okay, I was definitely a witch. I had my wand and it was made out of like silver, like it was like a silver kind of glittery like tree branch looking thing. And I had the silver glittery tree branches in my hair. I actually didn't take a picture of my outfit, which is crazy, but... I just wanted to enjoy the moment, okay? So some of you guys this week could definitely be just enjoying the moment for me to go into that and say that. Some of you guys could definitely be taking time to just be in the moment, okay, collective? I feel like you guys are learning or understanding or fully embracing the value of being in the moment at the time that you are in it, okay? Okay. A lot of times I feel like we have a tendency as people to stay behind a phone and like watch things from our phone and take pictures, but it really doesn't fully engulf you in that moment. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you for bringing my collective and I together today. Oh yeah, and shameless plug, I am offering reading special still, $33.33. .33. Definitely check that out if you are interested. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Please follow directions carefully, okay? What is my collective's energy this week, guys? Oh, thank you. Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, all right? So your third eye chakra is definitely activated this week, okay? And then we have patience. Wow, you've got two angels here watching over you, collective, okay? Patience is at the bottom of the deck. Time, the wheel of fortune, I'm getting like that type of energy. Patience is a virtue. And I feel like you guys know that with this sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Let's see. I kind of want to read today. I don't want the reading to be super long. I just want you guys to get like a gist of what's going on because I love y'all, but I'm not going to... Like, I feel like lately I've been really like relaxing and learning how to like reserve my energy okay so this card says clarity of thought personal vision this very powerful archangel metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra or third eye which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought when this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective towards broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. So I feel like you guys know what you want your future to look like. You guys know what you want your life to look like. I feel like you're starting to change your perspective as to what success means to you. That's kind of what I was getting. It's like you're changing your perspective about what is success? What is abundance to you? What is true victory, in my opinion? That's what you guys are probably going to be asking yourself this week. What is it all for? What does it all mean? Why am I here in this position right now in the time that I'm in it, okay? 
The patience card says peaceful presence, letting go of desperation. This card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. So both of these cards are talking about perspective. And I really feel collective that you guys are trying to upgrade or update your perspective, okay? It says, when this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, open, and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective, and let them come through. So I feel like a lot of times we think like I do this, right? And I don't mean to presume or assume anything about you guys because I don't know your life. Um, but at the end of the day, like there are a lot of times where I do recognize where I can start to be a bit closed minded in situations. If y'all see the um, smoke, that's just the instance that I have in front right here. But um I tend to have a very like narrow perspective when it's something that I want. For example, I mean, the only thing that I could say maybe that is a good example besides this channel is like raising my kids. I have a narrow perspective, like you're going to be a good kid. <laughs> like, and the way that looks to me is not the way that may look to my children. So I have to start to gain a different perspective as they get older, as they mature, as they start to have their own thought processes. I can't be narrow-minded about what they want or what they expect or what they need out of life. We have to constantly communicate about it, okay? And there are things that I ask them about. And yes, people say, oh, well, you're the parent, they're the child. Yes, I understand that. But I'm so I'm kind of tired of it, too, at the same time, because a lot of these kids know they know what they want and they know what they need. And they need to be able to have the comfort and accessibility to be able to express those needs, wants and desires just as much as an adult does, because that's the only way that we're going to be able to ensure that they have a better set of human rights. OK, because at this point, kids and elderly people don't have any rights in my opinion, okay? And I was I was guilty of it, okay? I'm not perfect, and y'all know I don't know all the answers, but I'm just using this as an example. You could be a parent, or you could be someone who has, you know, maybe grandchildren or something like that, but I feel like you are looking at a particular topic that is prevalent in your life and with a new set of eyes. So like I said, if you are a parent, you could be looking at parenting with a new set of eyes. If you are someone who is an animal lover or a pet owner, you could be looking at owning a pet from a different perspective. If you want to start a small business or if you want to start your own business, you could be looking at social media or advertising or marketing from a different perspective or you're needing to in order to be successful right now. Your third eye is opening up and you're very intuitive to what you need to really be doing in a situation in order to be successful, or at least you need to pay attention to this because this is a good time for you to have more clarity on that front. Wow. A lot. What is the crystal that my collective need this week? I want to do a crystal guide. Please show me what is the crystal for them this week that they may need to keep on them or that they may need to help them on this particular journey of what they're dealing with. I swear something flipped over. What is the crystal that my collective needs for this week, God? Please show me. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, okay? You know, keep it light. Okay, what's this? Because, you know, bring in the light. <laughs> Uh, and at the bottom, smoky quartz, let it go. So citrine is the card that kept popping, okay? Bring in the light. And then at the bottom, we have smoky quartz, let it go. So I feel like the, and then y'all, did y'all hear that beep? That's my washing machine or my dryer, one of them. I, when I heard the beep, it was like, bring in the light, 
and let it go. And then do, do, do. And I heard the beep. So it's like, it clicked all of a sudden. To me, I feel like you need these crystals, you guys, because this new perspective is coming in. I really think this is more on a world spectrum. This is not just you, so don't feel bad. I, I really want you guys collective to know that a lot of the issues that you're going through are not singular issues. Um, they're things that a lot of people on a grand scale are going through. Um, at the same time as you, because we're being ushered into a new way of life. And I really do believe that. I believe that as humans, we're being ushered into a new level of consciousness and a new way of thinking when it comes to our lives. Um, because things are changing in the world. And the patience card, I feel like that is what a lot of us are bringing. A lot of us, a lot of us are bringing. So a lot of us are bringing the energy of wanting the world to slow down because it's been going too fast, right? So let's just look at it like this. This might go over a lot of y'all's heads, so that's cool. I hope you have a good day. Bon voyage, 11-11 on the time or whatever. Safe travels. But um, for those of you who are elevated on a higher level, you understand what I'm saying. We didn't have this, you know, pandemic happen because everything was going well in the world. We didn't have this pandemic happen because we were all on the right path. It happened because of the exact opposite, right? So I feel that with this patience, there's a, a there's a there's a lack of urgency, but there's also an over it, an overly excessive urgency that needs to be rat, ratified or yeah that needs to be balanced out. We were slowed down for a reason, and with this patience card, it's like I feel like you guys understand this on a soul level. And what all of these things are that's going on in the world is basically teaching people that you can't just constantly be in the rat race. Like, it's not going to be something that's beneficial to you in the long run. It's not going to be something that will yield you the results that you really need in the long run. It's going to be something that basically runs humanity into the ground. So I feel like this week, with smoky quartz and citrine, I feel like you guys are being urged by your spirit guides to be more positive about the things that are changing in your life, period. Like, I'm guilty of it too, you guys. Sometimes I loathe, like loathe, yes, you heard me, I loathe the situations that change in my life because even if they're changing for my good, if they don't look good, then I don't want it. And that's the ungratefulness in me that I have to try to you know, get out of my system, okay? I have to understand that I need to look at a situation from the glass being half full instead of half empty. And that's something that I'm constantly working on. I feel like you guys may be at this place right now, okay? Letting go of old expectations is really what I'm kind of getting here and being positive about the new things that are coming in to your life. So Citrine says, bring in the light. Let the sunshine pour in. Some spiritual vitamin D will lift your spirits and your sights on life. Let happiness be a choice you make every day. Just like the sun bursts through the fog on a cloudy day, you have the ability to bring light in, even when you might be feeling a little blue. You are in charge of the weather within your inner environment. Embrace what it feels like to feel good and make a conscious effort to stay in the light. The core questions you need to be asking yourself this week are what brightens your day? When are you happy? When are you the happiest? How does it make you feel to stand in the sunlight? Okay. I feel like y'all need to also get out in the sunlight. When they said vitamin D and it's like the sun bursting through the clouds and the fog. I really feel like this week y'all need to try to get out in the sun as much as possible. Like when you have a break from work, um, because I'm seeing like, I don't know if you guys work in a warehouse or an office setting or like an enclosed building where there's not a lot of windows, but that's what I'm seeing. I feel like at least one of you watching this video, more than one probably, that's what they're telling me, but I feel like you guys are in like enclosed buildings that have very little windows, very little ventilation, circulation, 
um, that are not very open when it comes to the floor plan, you guys really need to take your bricks outside. Like, I know it's getting cold. I don't care, okay? I'm not saying put yourself in a detrimental or unhealthy situation because this is just advice for entertainment purposes only. However, I am saying that what I'm getting spiritually and intuitively is that you need to get out of that building every chance that you get because I feel like it's bringing your spirit down. You need to get into the sunlight as many chances as you get because I feel like now we're approaching winter months where the days are going to start to get shorter depending on where you are. I am in the United States. So depending on where you are, the days may start getting shorter or winter is approaching. It's going to start getting cooler. There's going to be a more somber mood. So every time you see the sun, I feel like during these winter months, you need to take advantage of that, especially this week, okay? The crystal affirmation for this week is I let the light back in. Again, repeat it with me. I let the light back in. Today, watch the sun rise or set. Exactly. I knew it was going to say to get into the sunlight, okay? So let's see. I haven't done this in a while. This is kind of like, oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love God. Thank you so much for bringing me and my collective here today. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I've seen a lot of people doing Celtic crosses lately, you know, in these YouTube streets. I just watch people. I observe people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got no beef in these YouTube streets. I love all of the people creating content. And I really don't prefer the Celtic Cross, but I saw Mystic Rain, which Mystic Rain is one of the channels that I really learned a lot from when I started this tarot journey. So if you're interested in learning like extensively how to read tarot, she's got great tutorials on her page in her playlist se section, which I used um, a lot when I was beginning, when I was first starting, and even still now, <laughs> yes. Even still now, like she just did a Celtic cross video and I'm like, oh my God, it's been up for so long. And I despise Celtic crosses. I do. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They just work my nerve. Okay. But I, I see, you know, the importance of them because I wasn't really great at them. If you, I know I'm rambling, but I guess it's necessary for somebody. Some of you guys are learning and you, you know, you just want to do things your way. And I really feel like spirituality is... Uh, a breeding ground for that and it's very good okay to do things our own way but it's also good to know the fundamentals okay and to know the original techniques okay that's something that I am learning about myself I am trying to continue to pick up on the fundamentals of tarot and not just the intuitive portion of it, okay? I also enrolled in Chris Rex um, tarot tutorial, okay, for beginners. That's the Minocon guy, okay, for any of my Pisces, y'all might know him. I just like to share my resources, okay? And like I said, if you're meant to be here, you're here, so congratulations. You're actually, I, I just heard that you're gonna be somebody, okay? But I am also in Chris Rex class and I need to catch up on some of the tutorials because I haven't been watching them. It's been a busy October, okay, to say the least. Um, but I'm trying to brush up on some techniques and make sure that I'm staying at the top of my game. So any of you tarot readers out there, be sure to check out those resources. I think the class for Chris Rex is closed, but... He said that there will be more information on new classes. So be sure to check that out, my fellow tarot readers. I'm so proud of you for how far you've come. And for any of you guys who just read tarot for fun, you know, Mystic Rain is a great channel for tutorial, especially for the free, free 99. Okay. Go check those resources out if you want more information. And she's got other stuff on there that she talks about as well. Just kind of like what Chris is doing in his class, but it's just different, a different style, different human. Somebody needed to hear that. So I'm glad that I could be here to help support you guys, okay? So what's going on with my collective this week? We see that they're opening up their consciousness, God. We see that their third eye is being activated to see life from a different perspective. I think I said this in one of the other readings, The Road Less Traveled. 
I think it was a Pisces reading, to be honest, on the Pisces Tarot channel. Um, it's something about the road less traveled. You guys are learning that it's a lot. There's a lot of benefits in going down the road less traveled or taking the long route to reach your destination. Okay. Whatever that destination may be, slow and steady wins the race. Damn, that's really what I'm getting for you guys this week. So I feel like there's a need to have a lot of patience. There's a need to understand where you are, to um, embrace where you are, to know the benefits of your current situation, to know uh, what you may need to learn from your current situation. I'm struggling with that, you guys. I totally get it. So let's see what's going on. What is going on this week? with my collective because I, I totally get that I, I feel like we're in the same boat I'm just here to be a fence you know to help you stand up to help you get through it because I'm a strong bitch and so are you whether you're male or female you're a strong motherfucker okay so we got a new home so some of you guys maybe are thinking about purchasing a new home you desire a new home okay maybe you just recently moved into a new home purchased a new home Okay, there's a large home here or there is um, a home that feels very warm. Okay, I'm talking about a home that feels like a home. I just heard, wasn't that Luther Vandross? A house is not a home unless you're there. Something like that. Ain't that that song? Because this house ain't a home unless you're there. What else for our collective this week? What else is my collective experiencing? What else are they going through? What else do they need to be prepared for? What is surrounding them this week? Healthy eating. Okay. So I do feel like you guys could definitely be working on your diet <laughs> child. Okay. When I tell you I have gained wiggity weight. Okay. Yeah. This is covered up. This was not here. I know y'all like, bitch, what is that? What do you mean? But no, like I can feel it in my breathing that I've gained weight. I feel like y'all are definitely understanding that if you want these new things in your life, you have to change your habits. That's what I really feel. I feel like you guys are working towards a goal or maybe you've just recently gotten a new home. You're buying groceries. You're filling up the house with healthy things. Okay. Or you're trying to, to revamp your current home. Like you're trying to make your home new again, make it feel fresh, make it feel healthy. Okay. Okay. A lot of y'all could be cleaning out your refrigerator, getting new foods in there, trying to make sure that you are, you know, adhering to a healthy diet. Okay, what else is going on with my collective this week that they should be aware of? What else is appearing in the current energy? Thank you. Ooh, material gain. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So I do feel like that you guys are realizing with this third eye chakra and this patience, it's like you're realizing that in order for the outward um, experiences in your life to change, that I feel like you have to make inner changes um, to yourself and your situation. We have gossip at the bottom and risk. I feel like you may be telling somebody about a risk that you plan to take or somebody is talking about a risk that you plan to take. You might have shared with someone that you want to eat healthy or Maybe you shared with a group of your friends or coworkers that you want to buy this new home. You want to have healthy eating habits. You want to make more money. You want to lose weight. Whatever this is, I feel like people are talking about the things that you're changing in your life or the risks that you may be taking in your life. Okay. I feel like they're talking about it this week. Oh, wow. We got two. Okay. So we have fear and planning. Yeah, a lot of you guys are planning on buying a new home, but you're afraid. I feel like you're afraid of the work that it may take to go. That It's like you're afraid of the work that it would take to maybe go into buying this new home, saving up for this new home. I feel like you're scared of owning your own home. You're scared of everything being on you. Like I feel like this is a renter syndrome where it's like you rent for so long and you know, you, you depend on the landlord to take care of everything. But once you buy a house, you're the landlord. You know what I mean? Like you have to come up with the money if something happens or if something needs to be fixed. Um, but I feel like you guys are definitely budgeting, working on your credit, things like that. We have family at the bottom and bonding. So I definitely feel that 
there's something on the home front. Even if you're not planning on buying a new home or if you didn't just recently buy a new home, there's something in your household that is worrying you. I feel like it's in regards to your family, especially your children or maybe your parents if your parents live with you. But there's something about bonding with your family that you're worried about this week. I feel like you're afraid to maybe get close. Okay, I, I know this might sound strange and you might not, you may, oh, she might be crazy. Okay, that's fine. But I feel like some of you have children, especially, that maybe you feel like you're disconnected from no matter what age they are. And I feel like you are, some of you may even be afraid of what someone you're living with is planning, okay? Or some of you are afraid of getting close to your family, okay? There's some type of underlying fear there, okay? We have theft and we have betrayal, what? So there could have been some type of betrayal, something, someone either stole your time, your energy, or your efforts, or all three recently, that I feel like, um, or they may have stole like your idea for something collective. So there's something that's, there's something that happened here recently where someone betrayed you, or you feel like someone betrayed your trust. They stole from you. They stole your time. They stole your energy. I feel like it's more so energy. It could be money because you have material gain here. You're thinking about making back whatever they stole from you or making up for whatever they stole from you. But I do feel like it could be some, there's some anxiety that you're dealing with this week from a loss that you've experienced that's causing you to like feel like you need to change your your habits okay we have new career and we have older woman so you could feel that there may have been a boss maybe your maybe your boss was an older woman or there could have been maybe a grandmother or a mother figure here that's helping guide you on this new career we have fate right under new career so hmm You could be a more mature woman going towards a new career, knowing that you need to change your habits because maybe you feel like you wasted too much time. I keep getting this energy of either y'all feeling like you've wasted time on things that were not as important or you feel like someone wasted your time. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's like I feel this energy that maybe some of you guys may have been with someone. Maybe they cheated on you. Maybe they stole from you. Maybe they just wasted your time. Okay, third party is right here. So they could have had you in a third party situation or whether that third party was another person or that third party was money. The third party could have been a job. The third party could have been anything. It doesn't just have to be cheating and sex. It could have been a situation where somebody always put other things ahead of you. And you put yourself last. And I feel like a lot of you are feeling like that time was like stolen away or your good diet, your good habits, all the good things that you've been working towards or that you've built up over time, maybe got squandered. Some of you feel like it could have maybe gotten ruined all of the plans that you made because someone lied to you okay or someone distracted you from your goals okay yeah we have matrix for material gain and fate hmm so there's some type of illusion here regarding your destiny regarding your fate i don't know if this is a self-imposed illusion or if this is something that someone um said to you that initiated doubts within your own mind i do feel like you guys have doubts within your own mind about what you're meant to be doing okay there could have been someone who in, who influenced these doubts or there could have been something you know that is deep-seated from your childhood that's influencing these doubts I really feel like this is more of a self-sabotage thing, guys, to be honest with you. Y'all might not like it, but I feel like you guys have been maybe self-sabotaging yourselves a little bit. Okay, you haven't been eating as healthy. You haven't been working out lately. It's like 
there's an illusion that I know it says matrix fate and material gain, right? But I feel like there's some type of an illusion around material gain. It's like you feel like maybe you'll never be wealthy or you'll never have enough to buy this home. It's like you're scared that your plans won't go through because there's some type of an illusion in regards to what you're meant to be doing. In regards to what you're meant to have in this world, in this lifetime. Yeah, we have sun at the bottom and bereavement. So my condolences if some of you guys, yeah, and then there's the ruins card. So my condolences, you guys, if some of you guys have recently lost a child or lost your son or someone's passed away, okay? Some of you, it might not be that serious. If some of you, it could just be a situation where you feel like you're losing touch, like I said earlier, with your child or your children. Something you feel like is ruined. Something you feel like is lost. Or it's like you feel like you lost an opportunity here. There's a lot of depressive energy, guys. I don't know. I'm not trying to be negativo or anything like that. But I'm just saying, this seems like it's you. Like, I don't know if you guys expected for your life to be different at this point or what. I, I do feel like that that's the case. I feel like they're... I feel like you're self-sabotaging yourself. I feel like you guys are drinking... I feel like you guys have a lot of anxiety about the things that you want to accomplish in life. And I feel like it's coming from a deep-seated like childhood trauma where you feel like you don't deserve to have anything. That's what I feel. But I feel like your fate is definitely to be prosperous and to have all of these things like new home, healthy eating, material gain. Those are all great. But once you clarify it, it's like... Maybe this is how your child is feeling around you because this this could be the energy of, you know, the people around you, especially if you still live in the house with your children. Maybe this is something that your child was going through. I am getting that. I It's self-sabotage, though. I'm, I don't know if you have a child who you're worried about, like in terms of suicide. But I get that as well for some of you guys that you could be worried about your child committing suicide or maybe there was a child here who did commit suicide. But the devil, I keep seeing it. That's why I looked at it a minute ago. I feel like either you feel that your child is self-sabotaging themselves, right? And this is something that's on the forefront of your mind this week because you're dealing with it. Maybe they're suicidal. Maybe they have negative thoughts. Maybe they just are a negative child, <laughs> honey, because trust me, I can understand. Um, or this could be a situation where this is you. And it's whatever self, whatever self-imposed trauma that is being done here is affecting how you bond with your children. So it's either you who's having these feelings and emotions or and it's affecting how you're bonding with your family or your children or it's your child or a parent that's having these emotions, which is affecting how you bond with them. So what's going on with my collective this week? What is the message that you want my collective to know? What is going on this week with my collective guys? What is going on with my collective? Ten of Wands. So there's a lot of work. I feel like you're stressed. You've got a lot of deadlines. I feel like work could be very busy this week. I feel like there's not enough time in the day. There's emphasis on time here with these clocks. There's something I feel that you're trying to complete. There's like a deadline here 
for your work or for your business. I feel like you're trying to balance the load of everything, but something may drop through the cracks this week, okay? I definitely feel like I'm being drawn to this planning card. Some of you may need to buy a planner or you may need to write more extensive notes in your planner. I can show y'all, look at what I did. I swear to God, I be trying, listen, when I tell y'all something, I tell y'all I don't know all the answers, but I damn sure be trying to learn. This is my little planner, right? Look at what I did. I did this um, on Friday. Well, I mean, I did this part before, like when I wrote out everything for like, when I wrote out everything for like November, okay? I already did this. Like, I don't want to show you my kids' names, but like I did all of this and then like, okay, to-dos, walk the park two days out of the week. So I walk a trail either close by or a few blocks away, like maybe 20 minutes away, depending on how I'm feeling, right? But I haven't been doing it. I haven't been going to the gym. So my to-dos, well, my goals are be more centered all the time. Love myself, appreciate my blessings, focus on the positives and the lessons. And then I put a few questions. Why am I experiencing this? Like whenever, like this month, that's my goal, right? These are my goals. To think if I'm in a situation, whether it's good or bad, why am I experiencing th things? Why am I experiencing this? And then I put in capital. Wow, we have let it go on the card. Crazy shit. I swear to God, I wrote this days like last, like two weeks ago for this page. But then last week for the other pages I'm about to show you, let things go. And then it's funny. So like my goal is to find more humor in November in my situations, whether they're good or bad. And then it says important dates, but I didn't put any important dates. I just added more to the goals. It's arguments are futile. Justice is a constant and unwavering force. It will occur. Love unconditionally and respect. So that's what I really, those are, those are important things to remember for me. And my to-dos are walk the park two days out of the week, work out three times a week, complete a detox slash cleanse. So like <laughs> healthy eating. I wanted to go get one of the detoxes from the store. Oh, wow. The Ace of Swords is right there. Interesting. But I'm going to be doing that, okay? I'm going to be detoxing from like... I, I I really already detox from social media. I really don't get on social media. But I really think I'm going to like completely log out of Instagram, Facebook, any type of notification system from social media for like this whole week coming up. I really need to detox from YouTube, but that's really all I watch because I don't have TV. I'm working towards it, y'all. I'm not perfect, okay? <laughs> but then I said body and home, so cleansing my body and my home. Read one book, okay? So finish a book in the month of November. I know one book seems like a lot to some people. One book seems like a little to some people, but I felt like it would be good to start with like one book, okay? And I've gotten so many books. Oh my gosh. I've gotten so many books that I haven't finished that I know I'm interested in. And I just want to go to the park and read. And then research protective herbs and mixtures. So do some more research on that. And then watch one movie with the boys. Okay. And I think I was thinking more of like one movie a week. Um, And then I put no stress. Yeah. But then in the first, okay, then in the first week of the month, I wrote out my itinerary, like my schedule. I wrote out doing yoga, any appointments we had, filming times. I, I'm trying to do yoga twice a day, so I'm doing it in the morning and in the evening. I wrote out the time that I need to pick up the boys, grocery store visits, um, drop off times. I scheduled even in time for naps and time to go to the gym and to walk the park, okay? So, and for cooking as well. I scheduled in cooking times and bedtime so that I could be as organized as possible, okay? Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to be able to, listen, all I'm saying is that this is an outline and I'm going to do my best. And then I also have my journal over there because I journaled um, a lot on Friday, 
So I'm just trying to live by example. I'm trying to create a more seamless life for myself. And maybe those are some techniques that would help you guys because I was drawn to that when I saw the planning card and the little planner that's here and the, everything that you have going on. I feel like Ace of Swords is saying that you're going to get a good idea from this or you're going to be granted some type of uh, epiphany or thought process that will help you organize the work that you have to do this week. Okay, God is going to give you some type of information to help alleviate the stress that I feel coming off of you this week. Because I do feel like there's stress coming off of you this week. Yes, six of wands at the back. So you are going to have something that happens, um, a piece of information that you receive. Maybe it's in this reading or maybe it's from someone else that you love or a commercial or something like that that you see. But there's going to be a piece of information that gives you some type of clarity on how you need to move forward um, with your job or with your responsibilities for the week. Okay. What else is going on with my collective? Okay. Knight of Swords. So I do feel like there is an idea that you have about your work. <laughs> There's an epiphany, a piece of information that you're going to have. Yep. Six of Swords at the bottom in order to move forward with a project that you've been working on. I feel like this is at work. This could be a project that has a deadline. I do feel like deadlines is something that is being stressed here, time. There's something that you have to complete in a certain amount of time. This could be a group project at work or at school. This could be some type of deadline that you have to complete like with the government or um, filling out paperwork or something like that. But Hermit is at the back. So I feel like... There is going to be a need uh, to talk to your guides here with this Hermit card and the Six of Swords. Your guides have your back, okay? And your back is turned here in both the cards. I do feel that um, in order to move forward, you need to go within and like meditate on things. And then there's a sunset that I feel is going on here. It could either be a sunrise or a sunset. But the card talked about watching the sunrise and sunset. So this week, I feel that if you guys watch a sunrise and if you're up early enough to see the sunrise or if you stay up late enough to see the sunset, because to me, this looks more like maybe a sunrise and this one looks like more of a sunset. I don't know. I'm just getting that. And I feel like try to watch the sunset and rise at least one day this week. And I feel like an idea is going to come to you about your work. Um, an idea about how to alleviate stress or how to successfully meet a deadline. Okay. Because I feel like some of you guys could be a little bit flustered, bewildered, um, aggravated, angry, or just completely stressed out about responsibilities that you have. And I feel like you need to keep going, okay? You need to push yourself because you've almost reached a, an important milestone, an important goal. And I feel like you're going to have one final swoop of inspiration to help take you through over that finish line, okay? Can I get one more card for this week? I feel like you have everything you need in your arsenal to succeed because I just saw the Queen of Pentacles. It's just a matter of realizing it. That's what I think y'all are struggling with, okay? Judgment is also here. Yeah, so you may have to make a decision. Um, there could have been something that you changed at work, in your business, at home. Like something that you were doing that you no longer do that you may have to start doing again. Like, okay, I said I scheduled cooking time because that's one thing I know I need to do. And I told my kids, like, since football season is done now, child, and it was a whole bunch of drama, child. And I wish I could tell y'all, but I ain't even trying to be messy. Um, But, yeah, it was a whole lot of drama. Um, But football season is over. Um, And thank God, because now I feel like I, start, I feel like I have time to start cooking again. And that's something that I haven't been doing 
that I know I took out of my routine that I need to do. That's why I scheduled it in my notebook, in my planner. There could be something or a process that you used to do that made things easier for you, or there was maybe something that you offered in your business that you no longer offer. And maybe you didn't realize it, but it changed the dynamic of the energy. And I feel like, like, okay, just say like, if you were give if you, I'm just going to use this example. Cause I used to buy a lot of lashes, like from other, from like independent sellers. So if you sell lashes, right. And you used to put like maybe a piece of candy or you used to put like, um, uh, you know, one of those little lash, you know, like the mascara brushes, it, it, maybe you included that, or maybe you included tweezers, or you, it's like maybe there was something that you were doing or including in your routine, in your business, in your products that you may have taken out because maybe you were pressed for time, or maybe there it, it took too much money, or, you know, there was something that you took out thinking that it would make things easier, but in turn, it, it actually maybe made things more difficult or it took, it caused you to take a hit on your business or on your job. It's like you cut a corner here somewhere that I feel like you're going to have to revisit. Something that I feel that you may have cut out to do something new, it's like you're going to have to revisit that. Maybe you need to revamp it a little bit and change the way you do things, but I feel like you're going to have to start either a new routine with this judgment card or and implement something new that you've never done before or there's something that you're going to have to raise up from the dead, okay, that maybe you stopped doing or maybe you felt like you didn't have time to do that you're going to have to start doing again. Yeah, it's about a decision to begin here on something that you may have put on the back burner, okay? Lovers, two of wands, it's a major choice. I feel like you're gonna have to make a plan. There's again, the planning energy. It's something about a plan. It's like, you're going to have to make a plan. And the plan is eluding you right now. You can't figure out what, it, what you're like, in that case, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't, that's the problem. I don't know how to make a plan or I, I'm afraid, like, I don't, I don't have any information. That's the hermit. That's the six of swords. You have to go find the information. Watch the sunset. Watch the sunrise. Go outside and get in the sun. That's when the plan will be uncovered. And then the magician again behind that, then you'll be able to make a decision. Okay. Then you will be able to fully manifest whatever this is that you want. Okay. What's the ten of wands? What's the Ten of Wands? Justice, yes. So things are going to go in your favor, period. I feel like if you've been having stress at work, you've been having stress at home, whatever this is that's been burdening you, it's about to be balanced out. Things are about to go in your favor, the chariot at the bottom. Things are definitely moving forward. And I feel like, oh, yes, they're moving forward rather quickly. I feel like you're going to get what you want in a situation. I feel like you're going to be able to go in the direction you want. Some of you guys, the house is going to come through for you guys. I feel like the contract is going to come through. Okay. If the, the lease on the apartment is going to come through, you're going to be able to move. I feel like you're going to be very happy about it as well. Okay. For those of you who, you know, want to redo your home or you want to try to, you know, make things more Zen. You want to you wanna upgrade the feng shui in your existing home? I feel like you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be happy with the changes that you make, okay? I feel like there is some type of justice in a job here. There's something that's going in your favor at work or in your business this week. What is the Ten of Wands and the Justice? I feel like there's going to be a compromise, though. That's just what I heard. I feel like in order for things to be less of a burden... You may have to work with someone else to compromise here, or there may need to be a compromise internally that you make. Okay, the Four of Swords is here. 
So I do feel like you're going to be able to finally take a vacation. Some of you guys want to take a vacation. Some of you guys want to relax. Four of Swords. I feel like some of you guys know that you need to rest. And that is going to be your justice. You're finally going to have some time off. Okay. There could be a current contract or something that's ending. You're coming to the end of this uh, requirement or this agreement or this contract. And I feel like you're going to be able to take a break. Finally, things are going to change for the better. Yes. Okay. So there could be an ending of a job here as well. That's what I'm getting. It may not be as serious as you getting fired or terminated or quitting. Some of you may quit. That's true. Some of you may get fired. That's very true. But I just feel like it's more of a change. Maybe things are slowing down at your job and they're cutting back hours. And you may think, well, oh shit, I won't have as much money and you're going to be stressing over it. But I feel like really you're going to be stressing over it for no reason because this is actually your justice. This is what you need. So keep in mind that if anything is lost or you feel like things are lost in a work environment, in a business environment, in your career, if you're thinking that something is lost, Keep in mind that it's only changing. It's transforming to another level. And I feel like you're given, you're being given, and I think I talked about this before. It's like you're being given the opportunity to recuperate with this Four of Swords. I'm getting a lot of time that you need to spend like in the water. If you're close to like natural water or if you can get in the pool and swim, the bathtub even, I feel like there's a need to you if there's a need for you to use this downtime to rejuvenate yourself to transform yourself okay because your justice is to get this break i feel like you've been working non-stop you've been working very tirelessly and then the four of pinnacles yeah and i do feel like you could be a bit stressed i feel like you're trying to hold on to something that's done or you're trying to hold on to maybe this contract that's exhausted itself or exhausted you. Something is exhausted here. I feel like it's you, but I also feel like you've exhausted everything, like every possible option that you've had with this particular business or this career or this job has been exhausted. And there's a need like to go back to the drawing board. I'm not saying like, if you have a job, you should quit. I'm just saying that there's a need to have a different perspective because in order to have, I feel like you've been working too hard or I feel like there's, I'm not going to say you've been working too hard because I really don't feel like anybody can work too hard, but there is a time where you can be overworked, okay? And I feel like there there's an excessive amount of overworking that's going on here because there's a fear of like being broke or there's a fear of losing what you have. But I don't think you're going to lose what you have. I feel like whatever this break is, is meant to help you. Yeah, Empress, it's meant to help you grow. Yes, Queen of Cups at the back. I feel like you're being made to learn how to take care of yourself. See what I'm saying? So if some of you, you know, are going through the loss of a job or a loss of a contract or something like that in your business, you feel like you're out money or whatever, this is not bad, okay? This is something that is meant to happen so that you can rest, rejuvenate, and recuperate, okay? And yes, you may need to save your money right now. You may need to kind of not spend. This may also be um, a way that Spirit is trying to help you plan out your money and budget, okay? So you're not spending it on stupid shit. But I feel like it's 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 all it's all meant to happen in that way. It's all meant to happen the way it's happening. What's the Knight of Swords? The world, yeah. So there's a major cycle here that's over with. What else is the Knight of Swords? No, no, you lying. I knew there was the star card, the world and the star. There's 
an emphasis here on healing. Four of Swords and the Star, major healing. Mental healing with the Knight of Swords. So there's a cycle collective that's over with here because you are in need of major mental healing. Okay, and emotional, wow, with the moon at the bottom of the deck. There are a lot of deep-rooted, I feel like, emotional issues that you've been holding in. Yeah, King of Cups. I feel like you guys have been keeping and having a brave face in situations. Okay, there's a lot of secrets, secret emotions that you guys have. There's a need for hope here, okay? This ending is supposed to bring hope. This in this ending is the universe is trying to prompt you here to have faith in your fate, to have faith in yourself. To allow, to allow, I feel like, yourself to be vulnerable. To see, okay, they're stargazing, right? They can see the constellations. To trust in the universe, okay? Ten of Pentacles, interesting. There's a need here to protect family as well. The world, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, endings. I just keep hearing like endings bring new beginnings. Endings bring new beginnings. And I feel like a lot of y'all are irritated by this. I feel like someone could be saying something. Like either you could be quitting a job or there's like maybe a marriage that's over here or like some type of family dynamic. There could have been someone who passed on recently that I see for some of you guys, but it's like there is basically a major cycle here that's over that is being ushered out so that something new can be ushered in. The Five of Swords. And the hangman. So I feel like some of you guys could be holding on to something that is ending that you don't want to end. Like, I don't know if it's a job or a, like a marriage or what. I feel like it's more so a job because the Ten of Pentacles could be your work. Ten of Pentacles could also be your family. Maybe this is a family business. But it's over. And it's time to start something new. It's time to start something new. This could be a project that you've worked on. Or it's like something that you're fighting for, but it's stuck. It's stuck right now. And I think that it's... This is a situation, you guys, where I do feel like there's something that you know is over, but you don't want to let it go for out of fear that you won't be able to recover. Maybe you have fear that you won't be able to find something new. Maybe you have fear that you won't be able to support your family, but it's something that's scary. It's something that you don't want to accept. I feel this energy of something that's over whether it be a job, a relationship, or a business that you don't want to accept is over. And it's like you keep pouring energy into it when I feel like you may need to accept it or you may need to revamp it or something like that. It's like something here needs to change. The way you look at this particular contract or this business or this job or this career needs to change. Because I feel like this is a time for you to rest and recuperate, to get your thoughts together, maybe speak to a therapist, figure out what you've been holding on to, figure out what you need to let go of and what you need to release. What emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual baggage have you been holding on to that's causing physical health issues? What are you holding on to emotionally and spiritually that's causing you to have physical 
health issues. I'm not a doctor, but that's what I just heard. And the seven of swords keep popping up at the bottom. What's the judgment? What's judgment? What's judgment? What's judgment? Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. I feel like this is a lesson because it's like what I'm getting, it's all about healing. Four of Swords, Star Card, Three of Swords. I really feel like whatever is ending in your life is ushering in the ability for a new beginning where you invest in your own like healing health is wealth right so i feel like this job or this marriage or this family matter whatever it may be is something that was weighing on you heavily when it comes to stress like emotional mental baggage um, that I feel like was weighing very heavily on you, okay? This could have been maybe for the last four years, okay? Or 11 years for some of you guys. Some of y'all could be 44 years old. Or this could have been something that set in right around 2020, right? And it like it came to a head in 2021. But I feel like this is about investing in your mental and emotional health so that you can have better physical health. Being patient about your healing patience. Being patient about moving forward in life, okay? Being a traveler, being someone who enjoys the journey. Yeah, five of pinnacles. But I feel like there's this energy where you were rushing through life, okay? There's this energy where you were rushing through life trying to maybe get money or trying to like have the ideal home, okay? Ten of pinnacles, new home. Or like whatever this picturesque expectation that you had over your life is being shattered right now and i feel like the reason why it's being shattered yep and there's the ace of swords the reason why it's being shattered is because i feel like you're being you you you're, you need to see the truth about where this was going to lead you i feel that either this way of working or this way of living was actually taking precious time off of your eternal clock it was literally running you into an early grave because you were moving so quickly that you didn't realize that it was really like fucking you up and i feel like it was hard to see the truth or it was hard to realize the truth like just overly demanding environments and running yourself ragged and overworking yourself, being exhausted all the time. Um, maybe, you know, doing something to get your energy up and then doing something to help you fall asleep. And that rat race, that circle of toxicity that comes with overworking yourself. Too much coffee, too many Red Bulls, too much, you know, wine or whatever or liquor even. Because, you know, we all self-medicate to a certain degree. It doesn't matter if you're going to the doctor to get sleeping pills or it does, or if you're going to the liquor store to get, you know, liquor to go to sleep. You're still doing the same thing. So it's like there was something that needed to end in order for you to heal your mind and your emotions 
because that was what was perpetuating this unhealthy way of living. It could have been a poverty mindset that you had to heal or that you're having to heal. It could also be, yeah, I feel like it's about having money. Like when it's like there's this inadequacy that some of you guys feel when you feel like you don't have enough money or you feel like you're not making enough money. So therefore you feel unworthy. You don't take care of yourself. You don't eat right. You don't work out because you feel like you're not making enough money. So you don't deserve to do those things or you can't do those things or whatever. But now we have the seven of wands at the bottom. We have the seven of pentacles here and we saw the seven of swords. So I feel like maybe there was a, there's confusion. I feel like there, that's the matrix card. It's like, I feel like there was confusion as to why you were being blocked or why money is being stolen from you all the time or why things, it's like, you feel like things are being taken from you all the time. It's like, you feel like you always have to wait for money. You never get a return on your investment with the energy that you put in. Or you feel like someone's always stealing from you or stealing your ideas or literally stealing your money. Or you feel like you're being blocked from opportunities, seven of wands. But I feel like the confusion is coming from delusion because I feel like the reason why those things are not manifesting the way you want in your life is because you're not taking care of your life. You're not valuing your life. To a certain degree, whether that means you're not eating right, whether that means you're smoking too much, whether that means you're drinking too much, you're not valuing your life and your body. So therefore, the things that you want are you're being made to wait on them. Seven of Pentacles, they're being blocked from you. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords are being stolen from you because you're not at tip top shape. Yeah, Queen of Swords. And I feel like you know this, <laughs> you know this. Six of Cups, because in the past, it's like, and the moon again, it's like emotions from the past that you're hiding or trying to submerge and keep hidden from other people. I feel like in your outward experience, it's like, you know that you need to slow down. And I've been getting that from the beginning of the reading. You know that you need to start a new wave. You know that you need to start a new chapter in your own life not anything for show not anything for other people but something that you're doing for yourself because you know you haven't been taking care of yourself and that's why you're stuck that's why you're hanging here because you have to see what you've been doing this entire time and i feel like this is the recent past you've been um there's been i feel like some secrets that you've been hiding from yourself but i feel like this is more so self-imposed restrictions self-sabotage illusions delusions material gain yeah it's like you know you're meant to have you know you're meant to have something great but the reason why you're not getting it is because you're not taking care of your health and your body and that's what i feel i i totally get it y'all i totally get it i do not want y'all to think that i'm being some crazy bitch that's exactly why i wrote what i wrote in my journal and like in my planner because I have to follow it. I have to follow it because I know that the things that I want are not going to be able to come to me if I'm living an unhealthy lifestyle. I can't tell you guys to do better if I'm not doing better myself. And I'm not saying that I'm telling, I'm here to tell y'all to do better. I'm just saying that like, and y'all can read it in my bio because I really don't have time for the bullshit. But like I've told y'all from the beginning, I don't know all the answers. But I know that I'm a strong person and that I was meant to help guide you on this journey. And just because and no, nobody knows all the answers. So let's get that out of our heads right fucking now. Okay. Because the reason why I'm saying that I'm meant to guide you is not because I'm the, the most proficient expert in all of this shit. I just know that I'm a strong individual and I've always been a strong individual and I've always given good advice. That's just what I do. I'm not here to justify what I'm doing. I'm just saying that I feel your pain for those of you who understand what I'm saying and this resonates. I really understand where you are right now and we're going to get through it because I, I pop in periodically and I let y'all know what's going on with me, but like, I really do need to get my health together and I can feel it like because I'm tired and I've been just 
doing too much and I feel like I'm sleeping all the time and it's because I'm not really taking care of myself the way that I, I was at a certain point and it's or the way that I should okay so we're gonna do it together okay you guys let's see what is the angel answer for you guys this week for your angels our angels prayer guides and ancestors father mother god thank you so much for your blessings honestly you guys this week is all about you I don't see anything you know, I don't really, I, I really don't think this is supposed to be about anybody else. So what is the most important answer for my collective in order to get through this week? Recovery. What am I saying? What am I saying, loves? Recovery. I know how you feel, boo-boos. Boo-boos. My poo-poo babies. My poo-poo shoo-shoes. Poo-poo shoo-shoo. But no, I'm going to read the card. It actually says, this is a period of recovery. See, that's why things are being made to slow down for you, okay? This is a period of recovery and healing for you. The challenging emotions that you've been dealing with will fade away with time. Although it may be difficult to see now, there is a joyful future awaiting you. But for now, take all the time you need to regain your strength. This card can also mean that your recovery is nearly finished or already complete. Send words of gratitude to heaven and begin planning for the next exciting phase of your life. So you guys, some of you guys are on different journeys. Some of you guys could have definitely realized this months ago and you started making changes. Honestly, I realized this months ago and I didn't make a whole lot of great changes. So now I'm, now I'm being forced to make those changes, <laughs> okay? I mean, I got my water up here. I am drinking water. I, I like this life water, but I really like that. Ex, 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 what is that other one called? Essential, essential, essential or something like that. I don't know. Mm. Leading by example. That shit is good. Woo. Okay. So, yeah. This is all coming from emotions that you guys have been running from. I'm just letting you know. That's what it is. Aquarius is out here. Scorpio's out here. Strongly. Maybe Taurus and Leo too, but that's the world card. And Libra. Yep. Taurus. I'm getting I'm getting Aquarius and Scorpio and Taurus strongly. Maybe Leo's out here. Possibly Libra as well. But yeah, I feel like you guys are being allowed the opportunity. The universe is going to provide for you. Don't worry about money. Stop tripping. Everything is going to come to you the way it needs to come to you. But you need to get your health in order because you're fated to have success. You're fated to have all of these great things that you want in life. But you have to be able to be here to receive them. And the universe is not going to move shit around for you to receive something that you want if you're just going to be dead because you're not taking care of yourself. I mean, it might sound harsh, but did I lie? Okay. <laughs> so it's up to you is at the bottom so you can do what you want. And then at the back, if you believe. So it's up to you and what you want to believe. Like I said, okay, so I hope you guys enjoy the messages. I love y'all so very much. I hope you have an abundant, amazingly blessed week, you guys. Remember, if you want to take advantage of the reading special for $33.33, check out the description box below. Be sure to follow the directions carefully and stick to the positivity today. Every day, be blessed, like, share, and subscribe, and don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.